numerous reports of an outbreak of disorder in parts of the East Leicester area of the city. Provoking the Muslim community, made chanting whatever they were chanting, yeah. Now they're inciting, they're inciting, they're causing the problem, and they're actually instigating it. The attacks on some of the shops in the northern city of Manchester have been brazen. Despite the crowd watching on, the hooded man takes his time setting fire to clothes in the store window and it quickly spreads. Welcome to Manchester. The police eventually appeared, but by then the fire had taken hold. At one point a group of people tried to batter their way into the main shopping centre, which has put new security measures in place after the trouble of the last two days. Police made a number of arrests. There was also looting in the nearby city of Salford. Police tried to clear the streets and ended up in a confrontation with gangs of young people, some as young as 11. Further south in the Midlands of England, there was trouble in Birmingham and the surrounding areas. Cars and vans were hijacked and set on fire. Shops looted. I was hooded up, masked hooded, rolled the stuff out, throw it, and they were throwing, they smashed the, the, the wall down the house up there and was throwing bricks over the vans at the police that were standing behind you. We have people we know roll around the country looking for any opportunity to participate in a demo um, and any opportunity to live out their fantasies of being revolutionaries by attacking in symbols of what they see as the establishment. And I, and I suspect that's an element of, you know, a very strong element of what happened in Bristol last night. That's Another protest for change, marred by violence. For a second night, police came under attack from angry crowds in central London. Bottles and fireworks were thrown and bins set alight. Pockets of disorder erupted early on and police had to run for cover. Yeah. 